All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, it's time for a prototype overview of the greatest, greatest, greatest Finch, 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 knife, 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 of, 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 all, all, all. This is taking too long. Time, time, time. Yeah, uh, yep. I love this knife. So let's start by saying if you are not subscribed to the Knives Fast channel, you need to do that because we have a lot of fun here. Hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell, stick around, have some fun, and uh, yeah, just yeah, just chill and uh, let's have some fun uh, as we always do here. Now this, guys, is a prototype. Now I said incorrectly in my unboxing that this particular prototype was made by Best Tech. I am incorrect. This prototype was apparently made by QSP, but it sounds like maybe Best Tech might be making the final version. I'm not sure. Stand by. We'll tell you more as time goes by. But this is the Finch Knives uh, Runtley XL prototype. Now, you guys know the Runtley. The Runtley uh, was their first knife, um, and the Runtley was produced uh, by Best Tech. And you guys know, even though it's a small knife, it's only a three finger, or if I choke up on the flipper choil, as we like to call it, uh, I can get four knives, four fingers, but it is a great worn cliff blade. Uh, for those of you that don't like middle finger flicking, in my case, because they have a nail nick on both sides, I open this by middle finger flicking. Uh, it has a great flipper tab, is made by Best Tech, great knife. Don't know if any of these are still available or not. But I always said, man, a bigger version of this would be fun, would be cool. And I told my friends Spencer and Steve and guys uh, down the road, they ended up doing this. Now, this is fantastic. Now, still again, you have contoured scales just like you do on the original. This case, you have uh, woven carbon fiber, which is gorgeous. Now, uh, that one just didn't have a bolster. It just had... Uh, steel liners. In this case, we have a titanium uh, frame, titanium bolsters, and you can see we end up with a bolster lock here. We have a titanium clip, which we had on this one as well. Um, that was 154 cm, and let's see, I can't remember. Yeah, this one is 20 cv. Again, I don't know what changes are happening, and this is a prototype. So again, this is more of an overview than a review, uh, but you have these beautiful no, I mean, you cannot feel the transitions. They are done so well. There is no uh, Finch shield on this one. Don't know if that'll be that way on the final version or not. And you do have those great uh, nail nicks on both sides. Just beautiful. Uh, you have a titanium backspacer. Uh, do not have a lanyard hole. And you do not have a reversible clip. But... Uh, this thing, it's got this beautiful black pivot collar to go along with that carbon fiber tooled on one side. So it should be a captive pivot. Uh, you can see there action guys. You have the typical flinch finch flipper tab. Look at that. Just snatch that guy open. Yep. You can, I mean, if I try to fail it, you, and yeah, you can, if I try, but the detent is pretty dang good and it's perfect, uh, for the flick here. Uh, very, very nicely done. You do have nail nicks on both sides just to keep that kind of traditional look. Uh, and I just love the profile. Now, in the pocket, um, that clip does come. You have about that much sticking out of the pocket. Um, and, by the way, good in and out of the pocket. Good retention on that clip. No problems. Not a tapper or anything like that. Um, and it does carry a little bigger in the pocket. Now, when I say this is a big knife, it is not very long, uh, but it is just chunky. And, and you can see there, uh, you definitely, you know, would have quite a bit more in your pocket than some of you are probably used to. Uh, I don't personally care. You do have this beautiful satin finish, um, just gorgeous looking Warncliffe blade. And uh, let's, let's go ahead. Um, you know what? I forgot to get prepared and get cardboard out. So let's get some now. Um, all right. So again, you can get down in there. Look at that, guys. That tip just wants to go through and cut. Um, and you can see here, just like butter. Now, this has been around to at least Big Red EDC. By the way, JB, thanks for sending this my way. Um, don't know who else. But, it, I mean, you can see it doesn't matter. This guy is sharp 
sharp, 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 sharp. Uh, now I have cardboard everywhere. And you guys are like, yeah, what's different? It's, it's a day, Casey. So there's cardboard everywhere. All right, picking it up. All right, there we go. So uh, action-wise, again, very nice. You can see it is a dropper, guys. Uh, this thing, everybody was worried uh, when I first got it in that I was going to cut my fingers off. Uh, I'm about to package this up this afternoon after this review to send back to Big Red, and I have not cut myself yet. Um, so hopefully I will survive the day. Uh, we shall see. But four-finger grip. You can see here, again, it is not a huge knife. It's taller, but everybody keeps saying it's huge. It's not that big. I mean, it's big, but it's not like huge or anything. You can choke up up here on that flipper choil. You do have a good, uh, uh, excuse me, sharpening choil there. Very nicely done. Uh, decently thin stock for a bigger knife. Um, and you can see we come down to a nice sharp tip here. Nice flat grind very well done and it is an absolute slicer man it is crazy good now because it's a little bit taller and it's contoured it feels wonderful in my hand now no jimping i know some of you don't like that i am happy uh this allows me the thing about jimping is i feel compelled to put my thumb where the jimping is. In this case, I can put my thumb where it's comfortable, which is right out here, and I end up slicing. Now, what's also good is I can get out of here for this kind of cut. Very, very beautiful, nice knife. Now, let's do some comparisons, and of course, we're gonna do the little baby here uh, in comparison, Mr. Runtley. You can see uh, it is, what, half to three quarters of an inch longer on both ends. Then the Rutley, let's just do this. Um, where is it? Okay, uh, so we're gonna lay this out. I mean, again, I, I don't really have specs on this guy because it's a prototype. So you can see here we have about seven and a half inches long. So again, it's not a huge knife, okay? It's seven and a half and the blade, uh, the cutting length of the blade is Man, it's a three inch blade, guys, and it's only two and three quarters cutting length. So again, if you go back to this guy, uh, it is huge compared to it. That, that, this guy's less than six inches, like five and three quarters, and that blade is only just at two inches. So it's bigger, but it is not huge. Uh, the difference is, again, now you're talking about a handle that's one inch, and on this one, the handle is only three quarters of an inch. So that is definitely different, uh, but it is not a humongous uh, knife at all. Uh, it's just taller. Now let's see weight-wise what we have here. I'm gonna do it off camera just because it's easier. Uh, so this particular one is 4.9 ounces. So again, it's a little heftier and chunkier. The original Runtley is 3.07 ounces. So again, it's definitely a different knife. Now it's not um, really thicker at all. You can see there, it's very similar size-wise. Uh, so it's it's just, you know, it kind of got a reputation of being, a, you know, when you give it a name like XL, people just assume it's it's enormous. And it is it is big, but it's I would not call it enormous. Now, it is going to be shorter, way shorter than the Ontario Rat 1, and probably about the same length, now a little bit longer than the Rat 2, um, so there you go. So guys, what do you think? Um, I am excited. I do not know. Now, a lot of you that are maybe new, haven't seen one of my videos, you're seeing this and you're going, where can I get one? These are not available yet. And Spencer and Steve have not told me exactly when this guy will come out. Uh, but you can bet when they are getting ready to come out, I will let you know on this channel because I will be very excited about this knife. Um, so that is the Finch Knives Runtley XL. Uh, again, when I find out when it's coming, I will let you guys know. But it sounds like they're going to be best tech produced. Um, and again, if we go with titanium and carbon fiber and 20 CV, this is going to be a more expensive Finch Knife than you've ever seen. Uh, but, you know, they need to do a premium. I think that's really awesome. And I cannot wait to see it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, all the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And guys, check out the Knives Fast channel. Stick around, stay around, and thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.